Hey, Vinyl Community, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Uh, so yesterday, I went to the record store, and the guy working at the record store, who I know because I'm in there quite frequently, he's like, hey, I have some rare albums that you might be interested in checking out. And I'm like, um, okay, sure. And so basically what these records were, were they were mistakes that were made at the factory that makes these albums very rare. You know, sometimes at the printing factories, the pressing plants or whatever, mistakes get made and things happen and there are anomalies that make these albums very rare. So I checked them out and absolutely they were very rare, very interesting. Never seen any albums like these before. Um, Priced a little bit more than I would have normally paid, but because they're rare, um, you know, I felt like I got kind of a bargain. Um, so the first one that I want to show you, um, and I'm going to compare this against the original copy that I have. So this is the Pink Floyd album Animals. It is a gatefold. And here is the inner gatefold. And... This is the rare version that I picked up. Apparently, uh, when this record jacket was printed, they accidentally printed it upside down. So what you have here I know, crazy. And look, even the even that gatefold is upside down. And the funny thing, too, is not only did they do the uh, jacket upside down, but they made the mistake. They printed the label upside down as well. So I got to handle this very carefully because it is rare. Um, but yeah, I'd never seen that before. And he's like, I don't know how it happened. First time, uh, operating a record store that he had ever seen that before. So he marked it up. It was just shy of under a hundred dollars. Um, he said normally if you were to put it on eBay, it'd go easily for $500. So because he knows me, because we have that relationship, he gave me a discount on it. And he let me have first dibs on it, so very lucky about that. The second one is, this is Born to Run, of course it is, if you're a Bruce Springsteen fan, I don't need to tell you that, but this is his album, Born to Run. And the rare thing about this one, he said, it was originally sealed, and the owner opened it up, there was no record inside. So basically... The printing plant or whatever just sold an empty sleeve. So he takes the cellophane off, goes to get the record out. There's no, there's no record in here. So whoopsie. But this one I got for $75, which again, he said to put it on eBay would have been easily like $200. Bruce Springsteen fans in particular are rabid about finding rare pressings, a miss, you know, whatever. Anything that makes it rare uh, is going to be a markup. So didn't want to spend this much, but, you know, I figure something rare like this, I'm not going to let go by and let somebody else. Because there were other customers in the store, he could have easily pulled any one of those uh, over and been like, hey, check out these rare records, but no, he picked me. He's like, you're a great customer. You've been loyal all these years. I want to give you the first dibs on these. So I'm very glad he did. Third record, uh, rare record that he gave me. This is the album Brain Salad Surgery by Emerson Lake and Palmer. And the rare, what makes this rare, and I don't know if this is necessarily the pressing plant. Maybe this was an early pressing. But the song Brain Salad Surgery is not on here. Apparently, it got left off the album. Um, I don't know if it was a very early pressing or something, but 
Um, I looked at the label, the record label. No brain salad surgery song on here. So uh, I'm not a huge Emerson, Lake, and Palmer fan, but it's still, you know, good to have a rare uh, record like this. So I'll have to, I guess, eventually, maybe I can get a copy that it does have brain salad surgery on here. Um, but anyway, just kind of cool. I mean, I kind of blew the budget that I had on a little bit more, but I did get some very rare records, which I'm thankful for. Um, so anyway, yeah, definitely uh, a very exciting day uh, record shopping. So hope you're doing well. Um, and let me know if you have any rare records as well. Um, but take care.